Normally, you see a key signature that looks a lot like this, 4 over 4. Do you remember what each of these numbers mean? Let's review and see if you are correct. The top number indicates the number of beats per measure. In this case, four beats will be in each measure. The bottom number in a time signature indicates what kind of note gets the beat. Here's a cheat sheet so that you can tell what each of the bottom numbers mean. If there's a 4 on the bottom, it equals a quarter note, so a quarter note would get the beat. If there's a 2, that equals a half note, a half note would get the beat. An 8 would equal an eighth note, so the eighth note would get the beat. And a 1 would equal a whole note, the whole note would get the beat in this case. See if you can figure this out. Talk it over with your neighbor. When you hear this sound, it's time to get quiet and see the answer. Were you correct? The top number means that there will be four beats per measure. The bottom number means that the quarter note gets the beat because four equals quarter note when it's a bottom number on a time signature. Here's another one. Work with a partner again and make sure to get quiet and find out the real answer when you hear the alarm. Check yourself. The top number means three beats per measure because there's a three. The bottom number again is a quarter note. A quarter note gets the beat. Try this one. Help each other out and get quiet when you hear the alarm. Hopefully you figured out that the top beat means there will be two beats per measure. The bottom number, two, means that the half note gets the beat. Here's another tricky one. Work together and get quiet when you hear the alarm. Hopefully you together figured out that the top number means there will be six beats per measure. The bottom number eight means that an eighth note will get the beat. Here's our last one. You should definitely be good at this by now. Work together and get quiet when you hear the alarm. The top number, 5, indicates that there will be 5 beats per measure. The bottom number, 4, is a familiar one 
it means that the quarter note gets the beat. On your own and in your head, figure out how to count this rhythm. Let's count it together and see if you are correct. Two, three, ready, go. One, two, three, four, five. One, four, five. Let's try it one more time. Ready, go. Try this one out in your head on your own. Let's count together. Ready, go. One, three, four, five, and one, and two, three, four, and five. Now by yourself. Ready, go. This rhythm is a little bit trickier. Remember the number of eighth notes that fit into a dotted quarter note and the number of eighth notes that fit into a quarter note. These tick marks might help you. They represent the number of eighth notes in each of these note values. There are three tick marks underneath the dotted quarter notes because there are three eighth notes in each dotted quarter note. There are two tick marks under the quarter notes because there are two eighth notes in each of those quarter notes. Focus on the number of eighth notes in each beat and let's say this rhythm on ta only. Ready, go. Ta, 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 ta. Try it one more time. Ready, Go. Ta, 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 ta. Here's what you should be thinking inside your head while you're counting. One and two has a line over it because one and two are all inside that first note. And three and has a line over it because those three syllables are all inside that note. Let's say this rhythm together on its real syllables. Ready, go. One and four, five. One more time. Ready, go. One and four, five. Put some imaginary tick marks in your head underneath this rhythm. Does your rhythm look like this inside your head? Here are the correct number of tick marks. Notice that there are four underneath the half note because four eighth notes fit into one half note. Let's say this rhythm on ta. Ready, go. Ta, ta, 
ta ta again and go Here's what you should be thinking inside your head. Remember the line over the one and two indicates that all of those syllables fit into that one note. Let's say this rhythm together on the real syllables. Ready, go. One and three, four, Again and go. One and three, four.